We all begin as one version of ourselves. But as we grow, life changes us. Every moment, shaping our character, shifting our priorities, stretching every fiber of our being until we think we've lost ourselves to the stress of it all. But that's not true, because under the torn fibers is a stronger person, forged like steel, with the courage to fight for those we love. And what we thought was lost can be found in family. Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie, this is gonna be my new Superman trailer video. They just released this new footage, obviously they're hyping up a bunch of multiverse stuff here, so I'll explain what's going on, because it's actually a big deep cut for Infinite Crisis, for those of you that read that comic book storyline. Because Henry Cavill has also been talking about coming back as Superman, and it seems like he's gonna be cameoing in a couple big DC movies really soon, I'll also explain some of the news about Man of Steel 2 and the future of Superman in the movies. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. But obviously the big thing here, this new Superman trailer, it's premiering at the end of February alongside The Flash, so it'll be the Superman and Flash on Tuesdays for the CW. But it's all about the multiverse and introducing the new version of his family that they sort of rebooted a little bit with Crisis on Infinite Earths. He says we all begin as one version of ourselves, that's a reference to all the other Superman actors like Christopher Reeve, Henry Cavill, Brandon Routh, Tom Welling, everyone. There's been many different versions of Superman. You see the Kent Farm in the background, they're using the same Kent Farm from the Smallville TV show, so obviously the series is sort of a successor to Smallville. There'll be a lot of Smallville energy in this series, and I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of Smallville actors cameo on the show, either in their old roles or as new characters. Yes, of course, Tom Welling could always cameo in the future if he wants to. I think that they would have him anytime he wanted to come on. But if you remember, Christopher Reeve former Superman, also cameoed on Smallville back in the day. So there's a long history of old Superman actors cameoing on the new Superman TV shows. Why me? There must be a reason why I was sent to this planet. You won't find the answers by looking to the stars. It's a journey you'll have to take by looking inside yourself. You must write your own destiny. Kyle Howe. I know there are a lot of questions about what's happening with Brandon Rouse's version of Superman because his Superman is canonically the same version as the Christopher Reeve Superman, just a little further forward in the timeline. There's also the chance of him coming back too because he's no longer on Legends of Tomorrow. The old man with the glasses that you see in the background here seems like their version of Jonathan Kent just as he gets older, but they introduced their new twin sons, formerly baby John Kent that you saw last before Crisis on Infinite Earth started, and the other new son. His name is Jordan Kent. So you have a version of comic book John Kent Superboy, but you also have the second son now, the, the twin boys, the other one's Jordan Kent. Then he talks about growing up and changing and being stressed, fiber stretching, breaking, bonds breaking, and they transition to what you might think of as the crystalline Fortress of Solitude imagery with this golden strand, but the scene of Superman trying to use this golden rope to bring together all these different crystal facets holding the members of his family is actually a deep cut reference for Earth 2 Superman from Infinite Crisis. That was the second big crisis event after Crisis on Infinite Earths back in the 80s. Infinite Crisis happened in the early 2000s. If you don't remember that storyline, it was found out that the OG Golden Age version of Superman from Earth 2 Superboy Prime and Alexander Luther, another alternate version of Lex Luthor from another Earth, and a couple other people like Power Girl had been trapped in this sort of alternate bubble of continuity, this paradise dimension outside of the main reality to protect them from the effects of Crisis on Infinite Earths because during that event in the 80s, their worlds had been destroyed. Golden Age Superman's Lois is slowly dying and they feel like bringing back their version of Earth will heal her so Alexander Luther, who was a hero during Crisis on Infinite Earths, kind of turns into the villain and hatches a plan to bring back their Earths and replace the current DC version of Earth with theirs. Superboy Prime went on from this event to become one of the biggest villains in DC Comics. They don't use him that much nowadays but every once in a while he pops up. He's like the biggest asshole in DC Comics. But during that event, you also see Golden Age Superman literally punching his way out of this crystalline dimension. So it looks just like this imagery here. Then Superman goes into this big speech about being stronger inside despite the fact you might be broken. 
I think while he's doing this, he's pulling together the facets of his family. It's because they're trying to hype up their twin Superboy sons so much. It's all about a lead in for potentially this younger son getting a little twisted up. Some of this imagery also makes him look a little bit crazy. And the older John Kent kind of seems like he's coming across as the more legit heir to the cape and crest. In early theory, the younger son, Jordan Kent, breaks bad a little bit. Because why would you do twin Superboys if one of them wasn't going to break bad? Like you have Superboy, but then you also have Superboy Prime. They haven't completely fully explained the scope of the show. We just know that they're going to be trading heavily on Crisis on Infinite Earths tropes. So what happened is, is that before Crisis, they had this baby that they've been hyping up. Like they'd had baby John Kent from the comics. It seemed pretty straightforward. Like, okay, eventually he'll grow up. He'll become Superboy someday. But because he was a baby right before Crisis and then right after Crisis, Oliver Queen as the Spectre reboots the multiverse, even though for some reason, a lot of the characters don't know that there's a multiverse anymore. I'll address that in a second too, because that was a big question mark. As a result of the changes in this new Earth Prime with them combining the Earths from a couple different places so that all the Supergirl characters wind up on the same Earth as all the Flash characters and the rest of the Arrowverse so that it all kind of makes sense that they've all been interacting with each other this whole time. But while that was happening, they also used it to sort of tune things for the TV show. The people that are working on the actual Superman show wanted to write it a little bit older so they just used that as an opportunity to age up and add an extra son. So they're both supposed to be in high school when this show is happening. So you have to remember when Smallville started, how Clark was basically a freshman in high school. You have to imagine them going through a lot of the same paces, albeit sped up as the original Smallville Superman. Like learning to use their powers for the first time. What do you do when you want to play football, but you're not allowed to use your powers? All the adventures and the comedy that comes with that, albeit with a much more sophisticated twist on the multiverse. The whole thing with Henry Cavill's Superman in the movies, though, is that right now it seems like he is negotiating to cameo in a couple of upcoming movies. I would say the strongest possibility would be for him to show up in the Black Adam movie because The Rock was literally hyping up fighting Superman in his trailer that they released at DC Fandom. You know, I always thought that it might be cool to hang out with Superman. That would be cool, right? I mean, we're kind of similar in terms of our powers, our strengths, our speeds. Because look, at the end of the day, you never know. Black Adam and Superman could become friends. Or they won't. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. I don't know what that is if that's not him hyping up Superman versus Black Adam. But Zachary Levi has been talking about getting him in the Shazam movie along with Wonder Woman. They even put him in that post credit scene from the first Shazam movie. And obviously we're going to be seeing Black Suit Superman, a very different version of Superman that we saw in the theatrical cut of Justice League in the Snyder Cut in March. All the Justice League Snyder Cut episodes are going to start dropping at the end of March. Then if you've been hearing rumors about J.J. Abrams in this new Superman Man of Steel 2 movie, it does sound like he's actually reaching out to other people to develop some sort of Superman project. Patty Jenkins also said that she would love to direct a Superman movie, but she's already booked solid, so I don't think there's any chance that she would do the next Superman movie. She's already doing Wonder Woman 3, she's already booked for that Star Wars Rogue Squadron movie, so whoever does the next Man of Steel movie with Henry Cavill is probably going to be somebody totally different. And just because there are rumors about J.J. Abrams reaching out to other writers about writing the next Superman movie, that doesn't mean that he'll wind up directing it himself. But you will remember a long time ago, there was his Superman flyby movie. I'm not a big fan of that script. It's online. You can actually go out and read it if you want to. But there was a time when he tried to get a version of a Superman movie made. But if you're bummed out that there is no Man of Steel 2 right now, it does sound like they do have plans to do another Superman movie. It's just going to take a couple years for them to get it together. DC is taking the new multiverse approach with its movies as well. So they're kind of doing the TV show thing where everybody can exist all at the same time. It's just all happening in different realities. That's how you get to all the different versions of Batman. Like we have Robert Pattinson in the Batman movie with Matt Reeves. We have the Michael Keaton Batman from his Tim Burton movies coming back in the Flash movie. And we have the Ben Affleck Batman also coming to the Flash Flashpoint movie. It is going to be Batman into the Batverse in the next couple of years. It's a really good time to be a Batman fan and a really good time to be a Superman fan. There's a bunch of videos that I'm working on right now. I'll try to get them out as fast as possible. But everyone click here for my Wonder Woman 1984 post credit scene video and Easter eggs. And click here for my brand new Mandalorian Season 3 Luke Skywalker video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.